Here are five useful apps that make my Mac so much easier to use. Moss. Trackpad on a Mac is a wonderful thing, but using your Mac with an external mouse might conflict with the trackpad. If you're someone who uses an external mouse but still can't let go of the trackpad for those handy gestures, this app will greatly improve your quality of life. Moss enables smooth scrolling everywhere and lets you change the scroll direction for your mouse independently of the trackpad. So when you have this app installed, your MacBook treats your external mouse and the trackpad as two separate mouse controllers rather than one. And that's why you're able to customize how each of them behave. Mimestream we all know that there is no official Gmail app for Mac, so an app like Mimestream is a great workaround. It supports everything that Gmail does in a browser, and at the time of recording this video, you can try the app for completely free because it's still in beta. Speedness if you move around a lot with your MacBook, this app will help you make sure that you have the best internet connection possible. It's a lightweight utility that simply lets you check up on your internet upload and download speed. According to the app's developer, it's better than the speedtest.net website that we all know because it reflects the real-life scenario better rather than showing you the most optimal scenario for your internet connection. Amphetamine Amphetamine can keep your Mac and displays connected to your Mac awake through a super simple on and off switch in your menu bar. Whenever you need your Mac to stay awake, maybe when you're uploading something, rendering a video or just transferring files, just turn on Amphetamine and you will not have to worry about your Mac going to sleep and ruining whatever it was that you were doing. Raycast this app is a much better alternative than Alfred for Spotlight. It's extremely lightweight, however, it doesn't lack features. You can search and play Spotify, access clipboard history, check your schedule and much more. It's also free and open source, not like some other Spotlight alternatives out there. And most importantly, here are 5 more Mac productivity apps that you wouldn't want to miss.